from LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a major day here on Afternoons LA Late. As we go over the earnings news coming in this week, major corporate earnings coming in that could impact your wallet. That's why you want to get these incredible stimulus checks. We'll be looking at those big stimulus checks in today's recording. Plus, the OPEC Plus decision came in minutes ago about how much gasoline will get pumped in this new month. It could signal whether gas prices are going up or whether they're going down. Now, the latest details across the board. The Federal Reserve has it failed to curb inflation? The latest impact on labor and the market's reaction to the news in today's broadcast. Plus, supply chain disruption interrupting once again. And will there be double checks in the month of January for you if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, and where are benefits? All the latest details across the recording. But the big news today is massive stimulus checks have been gotten by viewers of this channel, $300,000 of checks. And over this incredible broadcast, we're going to go over these big checks, $300,000, fast stimulus, paying out in less than two days, 18 months of monthly stimulus checks. And those months are incredible, $3,000 a month in stimulus checks, five stimulus checks a month. And over this broadcast, I'll go over these 18 months of MSCs, which have been law, and those incredible five checks per month. I'm going to show you how to get these incredible checks, including if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits across the board. They are everywhere. They're not from your state. They are incredible. They are not for any particular group. And also, they are absolutely wonderful. All you have to do is apply. Plus, in a rare occasion, we're going to go on location in tonight's today's recording. We're going to go on location to look at some more beautiful Christmas stimulus. The boy, the excitement is with us and those incredible stimulus checks as well. So stay over this one hour holidays edition broadcast today. We'll go over the breaking news, we'll go over those massive stimulus checks, and we'll go on holidays road trip to look at incredible Christmas decorations with disco balls. Are you ready to dance? <laughs> You're ready to dance? You will when you get those incredible stimulus checks over this broadcast. Stay with me. The breaking news starts all right here, right now on a big, bold, beautiful holidays edition of Afternoons LA. Good afternoon, everybody. You're going to have a wonderful week with me on this channel because there is a lot of major breaking news. And we're going to jump in the breaking news starting right now. The earnings numbers are coming in this week and big data, including some Costco. Get ready for that pizza. <laughs> Get ready with that pizza. How are you? On today's Afternoon's Alley, we have a lot to go over. The breaking news, the big stimulus checks, and we're also going to go on a road trip to the Christmas tree park on this recording. How am I going to do it? How am I going to pull off a road trip if I'm on set? I'll show you how. It's something we've never done before. This is the most exciting recording of the day. I'm excited you're here. You earned it or not. <laughs> the latest details are big corporate earnings are coming in this week. And what are those corporate earnings showing us about the economy? and its impact. On Tuesday, AutoZone, Toll Brothers, and Sentinel One will report corporate earnings. Again, these corporate earnings are an indication of where this economy is going and whether the recession is just 30 days away. On Wednesday is a big day because that is Campbell's Soup. That is sort of like Smucker's Jam that reported last week in Beat. We also have some outlet holdings like Ole's, Brown Foreman, and Lowe's department stores. And of course, and the big exciting details is some Costco pizza. <laughs> Costco reports corporate earnings on Thursday at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All the breaking details across the board. This is as we learned yesterday that their monthly numbers were down 10% revenue. Not particularly good. And Lulamon, <laughs> you want to go do some yoga stretches after having to that Costco pizza. They report corporate earnings as well at 4.00 p.m. Eastern Standard Time that day. All the latest details across the board. 
The second major story that happened just minutes ago, it's brand new. I told you it would be today on Sunday Red was the breaking news of OPEC Plus. The OPEC Plus decision came in and this is big news for gasoline. And what did they decide? First, who is OPEC Plus? OPEC Plus is a consortium of oil producing countries like Saudi Arabia who determine how much gasoline they're going to pump out of their wells. More pumping, more gasoline, lower prices. Less pumping, higher prices. Going into today's recording, there was indication they would add an additional half a million barrels cut per day on top of the two million barrels they cut already in October. The breaking news is they said no. Great news across the board. They are keeping the status quo. They're keeping the current status. They're not changing it. So they're currently cutting 2 million barrels a day in production. They did not grow to 2.5 million. It's big news. It came in minutes ago. The third major story we're working on right today, and again, that means that gas prices will not get any higher. They're going to stay where they are right now. The third major story we're working on right today is the Federal Reserve's raising of inflation and its failure to do anything with labor. Let me tell you what happened on Friday and then what's likely to happen on Monday. This is a double whammy of two stories in one. First, the Federal Reserve's failure and then the market's reaction. On Friday, the non-farm payroll number was released and it showed a lot of jobs created in the prior month, more than expected. That's strong. But the big number in there was that 3.7% unemployment rate. The same unemployment rate since the prior month. And that wages went up 5% in one year. This is, caused, caused, this is called wage inflation. Salaries are going up, inflation in salaries. Federal Reserve has not succeeded. And this is not good news. What's important to understand is that they have raised the Federal Reserve interest rates 3.75% over this year to get inflation down, and they've lost. They've not gotten inflation down. And the outlook now is not particularly robust. Mooney's economist Mark Zandi says the inflationary output outlook has a path forward that's consistent with a golden lock scenario if they get it done. But so far, they have not gotten it done. Here's some more of the analysis right now. Elizabeth Krofoff, who's at Lycast, says, we, aren't, we are not at all seeing the impact of the Federal Reserve's policy on the labor market. And that is concerning. That's worrisome. If the Federal Reserve is viewing job growth as an indication of their as an indicator of their efforts. Translation, Federal Reserve is trying to battle inflation. And if you look at their success story based upon what's happened with labor inflation, it's a 100% failure rate because labor is actually going higher. Let's look at those labor numbers again. This was from Friday. The unemployment rate stayed as low as it was at 3.7%. But more importantly, the salaries went up a lot. They went up 5.1% year to date in the numbers released on Friday. This is out of control inflation in wages, and that means what the Federal Reserve has done has not worked. Why is that important for the markets? I'll explain this to you later in this recording, but this is why you have to get stimulus, because the Federal Reserve thought they got it right, they got it wrong. The stock traders think that this is good news. The bond traders think it's bad news. It really is bad news. I'll explain to you in a second. And this is why I have to get all those incredible stimulus checks, because this is a troublesome situation. We're going to go to those other three, two other stories, supply chain disruption and double checks in just a second. But let's look at those incredible checks right now. You qualify. You must move fast. These became law in the month of March, and they're huge. How much stimulus checks are they? $300,000 of stimulus checks became law in March, been paid since March. Viewers have them in their hands. 18 months of monthly stimulus checks, five checks per month, and you qualify. You pounce, especially if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Babbitt, they are everywhere. More importantly, it's important to remember that they have nothing to do with your state. They're not from your state. Number two, it's important to remember they're not for any particular single group. And number three, you need to apply. So let's look at those numbers right now. We're going to go over each of these checks one at a time in this recording. I'm going to go over each check with you. Then I'm going to tell you, show you how to apply. I'm going to teach you on this video. And then we'll go over where it's heading thereafter. $300,000 of stimulus checks passed in March, now law. Viewers have been getting them. 
on this channel since March. They've been paid since March. Fast stimulus, less than two days in some cases. 18 months of monthly stimulus checks. How much are these stimulus checks? They are $3,000 a month in stimulus checks, and they are five stimulus checks a month. We're going to go over all those in just a second, but let's go back into the breaking news right now. Supply chain disruption 2.0 and double checks. Now, this is fascinating. On morning's LA, I teased this and I forgot to go over the supply chain disruption 2.0. So you're here for the first time now. Uh, supply chain 2.0. We started this year with inability to get the products from the manufacturer to you, from the farm to you, that caused prices to go higher, like the milk and eggs. Well, guess what? We're starting 2023 with a brand new version of the same problem. It's a second version. Why? Because of China and their lockdown, because China and COVID. Here we go again. There's new concerns and new worries about products not getting into our ports. These are our products made overseas and shipped back to the United States. They're not getting into the ports. And that supply chain disruption is very much an issue. Second, that the other, the sixth major story we're working on today, which normally I would not cover on this channel, but I think it is such a pervasive false narrative, is I need to go over with you. There's a lot, and I don't just mean one. There is a lot of very, very fringe, nonsense broadcaster, uh, um, YouTubers, that are telling people that you are getting two benefits checks in the month of January, and that one of them is a extra check, that you're getting a supplemental check, that it's an extra sum of money. It's absolute complete nonsense. It's complete nonsense. And normally I would not cover someone else's nonsense, but it's very important that I care, that since I care about you so much, it's so important that it's such a pervasive nonsense out there. I need to shoot it down right now. Let me explain what's going on. This is so basic. This is basically when a check is mailed. This is basically when a check is mailed. So the issue is that the day in which the check is going out in the mail makes it look like you're getting two checks in the month of January. You are actually receiving two checks in the month of January, but it's because the other check is coming late, and so it's arriving in the, prior, in the next month. You are not getting an extra check. You're not getting a supplemental check. You're not getting extra money if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security World Benefits. It's just the check is coming later. Here's an example. Yesterday, I was in a very, very big supermarket here in Southern California. It's probably the number two. And you may have seen the sign as well. It says, get a COVID booster shot, which I got another one. <laughs> I, I'm at a COVID booster shot number 35 at this point. <laughs> And the sign there said, when you get a booster shot, you get up to $75 of free groceries. Wow. $75 of free groceries? That's incredible. Here is why that's not incredible. <laughs> because I was holding the, the coupon. The coupon said 10% off your next purchase of groceries. Well, wait a second. When does 10% get 70, become $75? 10% becomes $75 when you buy $700 worth of groceries. <laughs> if you buy $700 of groceries, you'll get $75 back. Well, I'm not buying $700 worth of groceries. I'm buying $50 of groceries. That means I'm getting $5 back. Yeah, playing games with numbers is not something we allow on this channel. And that is why I wanted to really shoot that down that's out there. Because I see people asking the question. They've seen it somewhere else. It's absolute nonsense. This has nothing to do with the stimulus that, are co that is covered on this channel. It's a totally different subject matter across the board. And with that, let's get some credible stimulus. Let's understand these stimulus checks and understand where they are, how they happen, and what you need to know. Let's go back to the month of February. In February of this year, I was looking at data, as I've been looking at data for this channel for two years, and the data at the time was not particularly good. And I said... Based upon the data, I am predicting in February 2022 that the U.S. economy will go into recession in January of 2023, which is now 30 days away from this broadcast, and there will be a two-year recession. You, as subscribers and members of this channel, have been very, very smart and have listened to learn. You heard that warning in February, and you said, well, Ally, you have taught us to always be cautious of our money, avoid risk, and err on doing things cautiously. And they, the view, you, the viewers of the channel, said, if you're right, then get me a darn stimulus check. <laughs> they said that in the month of March. Give me a stimulus check because your warning from February is very scary. And I did. I had a triple mandate for myself at the time. One, I wanted big checks 
big amounts of checks, tens of thousands of dollars of stimulus checks. Because with a two-year recession, a ridiculous $600 stimulus check ain't going to survive you on your bills for one day, one month, let alone two years. Number two, I wanted broad eligibility. So I wanted all my viewership to be able to qualify for these checks. And number three, I wanted it to be easy for you to do this. That's why we have an Allied newsletter. In the Allied newsletter, I put all the links to click, 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 apply, apply, apply to get these big checks. And viewers of this channel have been getting them ever since the month of March. Let's go over these incredible checks starting right now. They are big, number one. Number two, you qualify. And number three, you need to move fast. Number one, they are $300,000 of possible checks. Number two, fast stimulus that lands in less than 48 hours in some cases. Number three, they have four, 18 months of stimulus checks. 18 months of monthly stimulus checks. Well, how many checks per month? About five. How much per month? About $30,000. And over this broadcast, we're going to go over all these incredible checks one at a time. But let's look at those first three checks and why this happened so quickly back in March. As soon as viewers asked me in March to go find them some checks, we got lucky because that day, Joseph Biden had passed an executive order that established the first three checks that have been paid to viewers of this channel ever since. Checks A, B, and C. Nearly $100,000. You qualify. And viewers have been getting them since March. March. If you just found this channel today, welcome. You can still get them. I'm going to show you how to get these incredible checks. You qualify. Single individual, $75,000 or less annual income, go get them. Married couple, $150,000 annual income, go get them. If you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, where all benefits, there are checks for you as well. Go get them. How do you get them? You become a member. Go around this video, become a member, join this channel. And over this one-hour broadcast, we'll go over these checks. We'll go over the details of the newsletter, but we're not done there yet. Those are just the first three checks. <laughs> so that okay, Congress and Congress passed a beautiful bill that established more checks, checks E through K. And those hundreds of checks are all featured, again, in the LLA newsletter. As a member, you get that newsletter delivered from me to you, 7 o'clock Pacific, 10 o'clock Eastern. All you have to do is go right down into the membership newsletter and click the links and apply. Get check A, get check B, check C, all the way up to check Q. And we're going to go over those incredible checks in just a second. Become part of this family, become a member right today, and get those incredible checks one at a time. And with that, let's go back into the breaking news that we're dealing with right today. So the trouble with those data that came in on Thursday and Friday is that the Federal Reserve has absolutely categorically failed to get inflation down when you're looking at the labor market, the employment market. And what's important to understand is as we start a new week, the reaction from the markets is going to be crazy. And I'm going to explain the latest details on this to you right now. On last week's recording, I believe it was a Wednesday, for the first time ever, I really did something which was so important. I'm going to do it on a regular basis now. When I refer to the markets, I'm no longer going to refer to it as one group because we now know there are four different groups at least that are looking at the data with very different opinions. The ones that are looking at the data and doing the right opinion are the Federal Reserve, the economists, the bond market, and the stock analysts. Those are not people who tell you to buy or sell stock. These are just people in the back room that analyze it. The other people that are doing wrong uh, statements are the stock traders. So let me tell you what happened this week, what's going to happen next week. When the Federal Reserve had Jay Powell sent out to the Brookings Institute on Wednesday, he said that inflation has softened down a little bit and that based upon that, we can potentially vacillate or change on our interest rate spikes at each of these FOMC meetings. He never said he's going from 75 to 50 in December and stay at 50 into January. He just said we can change. Let's be clear about that. The stock traders heard that statement and said, congratulations, let's celebrate. They traded up the market up 700 points on Wednesday on the belief that the Federal Reserve is going from 75 to 50 basis points. Here's the problem, says me, you, Federal Reserve, the economists, and the bond traders. The data on Friday was really bad for the situation. The data today is also really bad. What is that data? It shows that when you look at the unemployment market, the unemployment market, it's too hot. It's way too hot. 
There's too much inflation hitting salaries. Salaries are up now 6% still year to date. They're going up every month. Salaries are still going up. That's inflation. Means the Federal Reserve has done nothing to get inflation under control in the labor market. Number two, Federal Reserve has a dual mandate, maximum employment and also keep inflation down. They can make more people unemployed to get inflation down, but guess what happens? The unemployment rate is still the same rate. So they've completely failed on this in many regards. Number three, the data that came in on Wednesday was the inflationary data of the Personal Consumption Expenditure Index, and it showed that inflation had gone up month to month, about 0.2% compared to the prior month. Year to date, it was still up about 5%. This is not particularly good. So the data is that inflation is still going up, that the Federal Reserve has done nothing to get inflation down, and one of the most important components of inflation in the labor market is actually much worse in terms of inflation than last month. So ultimately, is this really bad news for bonds, stocks, of bonds, the economy, Federal Reserve, and you and I? Absolutely. It means the Federal Reserve needs to come in much more aggressively. And today, I think there's a very, very big possibility that the Federal Reserve does not go to 50 basis point in December, that they stay at 75. Or if they go to 50 in December, they may go right back to 75 in January because the inflationary data is so strong across the board. It doesn't show they've got inflation down. And with that, that's why you need to get some stimulus checks. Let's look at those big stimulus checks right now. Let's look at those big stimulus checks right now. Remember, it is $300,000 of stimulus checks. 18 months on average is what viewers are getting. $3,000 a check, $3,000 a month, eight, five checks per month. And there's a lot of checks. There's nearly 300 checks. Let's look at the first three checks starting right now. <laughs> the first check is check A. It's a $6,500 to $12,000 for to book check in every U.S. state. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get them. How do I get them? Step one, you go on this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power Cow, Casino VIP. Then go down the membership news area, see check A, click the link, and go right and apply. You're not done there yet. Then go get some check B. It is $15,000 to $80,000 of stimulus checks. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get them. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get them as well. And how to get these incredible checks? You go down in the membership newsletter, you click the link, and you get these beautiful checks. Well, we're not done there yet because you're going to go get some check C. And check C is beautiful. It is for rent utilities, mortgage assistance, and more. And how to get these incredible checks? Well, you go down the membership newsletter, it tells you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. And those incredible checks are just beautiful. You deserve those big checks. And let's look at see what are the success stories that we've had for check C's on this channel. Do you want $30,000 of rent? Then get some check C's, become a member, join this channel right now. Do you want $15,000 of utilities. Well, do that like Mark's brother-in-law did. Go into this video, get some incredible checks. Mark got $6,500 of checks, but his brother-in-law got $15,000. Get that big, get, get those big sums of money. Then that same brother-in-law went to a quarter million dollars of SNAP combinations of checks. Well, Mark was at $32,000. He went to $50,000. And then he went from $50,000 to $100,000, then to one sixty-six. dollars Yes, he got $166,000. Lorraine was at $105,000. She went from $105,000 to $150,000. Now, why would you wait to get these stimulus checks? You want to move right away. And this is the success story that's happening all the time. Here we go. Frank Mancuso. He got 18 months of stimulus check B. Wow. Then 18 months of utilities. Then 18 months of high-speed internet. Folks, that's a lot of checks. But it's happening all the time. We're getting all the time viewers 18 months of checks about five checks per month. And that's why you want to pounce as a Purple Hawk right today. It's happening right today, and it's always been happening since the month of March. You want to get these big sums of money because guess what? The economy is changing very dramatically, and you do not want to be sitting around waiting for the data to get worse. You want to get these incredible sums of money right today. Become a member, Purple Hawk, Pearl Power Casino VIP. And as a Purple Hawk member, you get that newsletter. And guess what also is in that newsletter? Checks E through K. And in the big second half, we're going to continue with these big checks, E through K, then go over to L&M, N and O, P and Q. And guess what? Then we go out to the holidays, 
Christmas Tree Park. Oh, yes, a road trip in today's show. What a total surprise. And it's something we've never done before. How do I do a road trip on a show that's taped? Well, you never know what I have up my sleeves. I'll be back with you in 60 seconds as Holidays Allied Afternoons Edition continues. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And the excitement continues in the second half of afternoon's holiday edition. You want to become a member, because why? Big checks are being obtained by the viewership of this channel. They've been gaining them since the month of March. A recession's underway. Inflation is still with us. And that benefit raise is happening, but the housing market's falling apart. Labor's also confusing as well. The breaking news continues right now in the big second half from LA Light. This week, we'll be looking at the impact of the markets, of the labor numbers on the markets. Plus, we'll be seeing the latest earning news every day on this channel. So tune in every day this week as we go over those earnings numbers. Remember, corporate earnings is the best indication of where this economy is going. And if the corporate earnings weaken very dramatically, this could signal a very big downturn to this economy. Plus, we'll be seeing the reactions of the markets to the Federal Reserve data that came this week as well. Let's get some more checks right now. In addition to those credible checks passed by the President of the United States by executive action, Congress came along and did other checks. And boy, are they incredible. And those other incredible checks are just huge. In today's recording, we continue with checks E through K. These are big stimulus checks, big stimulus checks that became law in the month of March. And let's look at those incredible checks starting right now. Check E is a beautiful $7,500 stimulus check in every U.S. state. Go get it. Check F, a $4,000 stimulus check. Check D, a beautiful 30% uh, off stimulus check. Check H, $2,000. Check I, a gorgeous $8,000 stimulus check. Check J, $8,000. Check K, $14,000. Oh, my goodness. They're all in the membership news and are down at checks E through K. Then we continue to check L, $100,000 on average of loan industry money. M, $4,000 stimulus check. N, brand new tablet, computer, a laptop, free internet. Stimulus O, zero down payment, zero closing costs, no mortgage insurance required. And then stimulus P and Q. P is 3% refi and Q is a beautiful $8,000 stimulus check. Wow. What do we know about these stimulus checks? First, the largest amount is $100,000. Smallest is $8,000 stimulus check. Fastest routing time? Two days. Johnny started on Monday. By Wednesday, he had 45000 By Friday, he had 15 applications approved in. Half rejected, half approved. $80,000. He helped the following week his mom and dad each get 50000 Then, after that, what did he do? Help 20 friends and neighbors get a quarter million dollars. Today, we have a brand new success story. It's just like Johnny's. Who is it? Lynn Glenn. Lynn Glenn did exactly what Johnny did, which is teach someone else. She learned to earn, and then she taught someone else how to learn to earn. How much has stimulus has Lynn Glenn gotten? So she, as an individual who represents all the viewership of this channel, including SSI, SSDI, Social Security, and Rural Benefits, had initially gotten... 
few months of utilities and then rent. Well, I told her, go get more. And she really did well. How much did she get? She got for herself 14 months of utilities. Great job, Lynn. Then she went from five months of rent to 12 months of rent. Great job, Lynn. That's 26 stimulus checks. Then she got stimulus N. That's 27 stimulus checks. But the great new success story today for Lynn Glenn is she helped a family member this last week get 12 months of stimulus checks. That's the true Purple Hawk spirit. Pounces of Purple Hawk, inspiring other people, motivating other people across the board. That's why you want to go in this video, become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino VIP. Remember, it's about $300,000 of different stimulus checks you can get. It's fast. Within two days, in some cases, it's 18 months of monthly stimulus checks. It's about $3,000 a month, and it's about five checks per month. That's what you need in this economy. With a downward spiraling economy, you need massive stimulus. You need tens of thousands of dollars for a two-year recession. You need to get the money ahead of time, not later, and you need to get it right away. It is the importance of those MSC checks. Go get them across the board, and you deserve them right today. Coming up tonight on Eden's Lake, we'll be going more into this breaking news that we're dealing with. We'll be going over the latest details on the markets and labor, the supply chain disruption, more about those earnings da data coming this week, that OPEC plus decision, and the Federal Reserve's future on labor. But now we're going to do something totally different that we have never, ever done before. What are we going to do? We're taking Holidays Allied on the road. <laughs> Isn't this exciting? In this big second half, we're going to take Holidays Allied on the road. How are we going to do this? Well, yesterday, yesterday afternoon, yesterday evening, as sun had dropped here along the coast in Santa Monica, California, I recorded two different videos live on location. One under beautiful Christmas decorations, another at the Christmas tree park, I guess you would say, Christmas decorations. And today what we're going to do is we're going to jump back into those videos now, a day later. Wow, this is exciting. And we'll look at the decorations, you and I, and figure out what we're learning from these incredible decorations and how we can bring them into the household as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up those videos from those two recordings yesterday, mute the audio, and you and I will go over the details of the beautiful, beautifulness of these decorations. Jump in the live chat. Send me your, send me your comments as well, what you think uh, about these decorations. And we're going to take what we see and see if we can learn something about it as well. Okay, the first video was shot in the, in, in the entrance to a beautiful hotel. In this video, you can see dangling, iridescent, uh, uh, water drop type lights and they are quite beautiful look at them right now let's pause the video for just a second let's look at that right now so look at those beautiful lights they're teardrop there's a lot of them and they're hanging from high above in the distance so look at that impact of those beautiful teardrop lights isn't that incredible um, I am in the foreground, there I am, and look how different. Now, they also do some burst of lights, which I like, almost the shape of a snowflake compared to the teardrop, really quite effective. Now, those teardrop lights, you see they actually, I think they have a, yeah, they do have an up and down uh, uh, rotating um rotating pa pattern to them so you see the teardrops they are actually going up and down like a conveyor belt just vertical quite amazing across the board all right now let's go into the second location yesterday which was back to that i call it the christmas tree park but to that in this recording we went up close into a beautiful reef i like this reef for many regards let me tell you what we're looking at here so you are looking at an artificial green reef, number one. Then what they did was they took your they took your fabric ribbon and wrapped it around in sort of a light color, number two. Then, this is really something I've never seen before. They got, because it's outdoors, they got a plastic, and it's a hard plastic. It's very, very hard. It's almost um, like a synthetic plastic reef, uh, excuse me, um, ribbon to put at top. It makes the whole decoration. And then you'll see me coming in real close on the camera, and they used disco balls for their ornaments. Oh, this is exciting. Disco balls for their ornaments. The disco balls are made with that 
acrylic plastic. It's not the glass ones. It's not rhinestones. It's not Swarovski crystals. It's the plastic uh, 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 reflective uh, mirrors that makes the mirror ball, the mirror disco ball, quite enormous. So there is that re there is that beautiful band. You're going to see me come down on the camera just a second here. Okay, so there is that beautiful ribbon band at the top. And then after that, we're going to go into the beauties of this incredible uh, reef. So there you go. There's the band. The band is actually, the, the ribbon is actually red on the outside, yellow on the inside. And there are all those incredible disco balls. Now, here's another tree. Totally different tree. Now, as discussed in last night's video uh, with the viewers, it comes off pink for some reason. I have no idea why. It is actually a red tree. But I think as pink, it would actually work as well. Interesting how they did the ribbon. They did the ribbon a vertical, not horizontal. I like ribbons vertical on a tree. Then they used almost the same color pattern on the ornaments as the ribbon. Oh, that is interesting. So the ribbon is a is a is a is a light cappuccino, and so are the ornaments. There I am. You can see in the background, still coming off as quite pink, but it is really red in person. I think it's the I think it's the the window that's causing the light to diffuse and change the color. The or the lights white. So very very interesting. It is very very strongly lit. Uh, you saw as I approached the the window that from afar it is a burst of light. A lot of white, a lot of uh, monochromatic decorations with the ribbon and the balls ornaments the same color. Very, very effective. And boy, nothing's more effective than a very, very strong burst of color. They are all stagnant lights. They are not vacillating. There are no colors in the lights. They went with the color of the tree so that the lights are all white. Great approach. Now, of course, it's an artificial tray. Of course, it's an artificial tray. It's very, very 1960s in a way. Uh, a very, very fake color because no tree is red. It, it, very modernistic, very mod, you would say, in the 60s or almost in the, the, almost in the 50s. But in, in a way, it did not look dated. It looked very, very um, modern in even today's setting across the board. And because there is so much color, now let's see it as we walk away. Look at that incredible color. Because there is so much color, it is very, very effective. And actually, it's very, very easy. Now let's compare that to the color of the reef. So you just saw that burst of two colors, white and pink, or white and red, in, the, in that store window. Here now we have the reef with the ribbon brightly red and the reef really green and white. Green, white, red versus the prior tree, which was really just the cream and the and and the and the pink. Incredible. There it is again. There that tree, cream and the pink. It, it is a totally different approach to Christmas, and I love both of them. <laughs> what do you think? Jump in the live chat. What do you think? Is it getting some inspiration? There is a long shot of of the of the of the the, the reefs. Uh, in the background is that enormous tree. Now. What I'm going to bring you to now is smaller trees. Everyone has smaller trees. And uh, <laughs> one of the comments I made in the video was tree disparagement. <laughs> tree disparagement. An expression you only hear from me. <laughs> here, are some, here are some beautifully decorated trees. But I said the trees are a little bit um, not so great. <laughs> Because <laughs> it's out of season. The trees are not particularly fall. The trees are not particularly um, well-shaped. They are just, you know, sort of not the greatest of trees. I said, if you think I'm doing tree disparagement, my apologies. <laughs> and love the comment. Uh, it is, these are beautifully uh, decorated for not particularly beautiful trees in season. They're out of season, so there's not a lot of leaves you see on the trees. And what do they do? They just put white lights. And it shows you. When you put a lot of lights, even a not-so-beautiful tree will look beautiful. Shows you the impact across the board. It always works when you do something uh, in, in full form. Here's a lot of these trees. So a lot of people have multiple trees in their front yard or their, or their apartment building complex or their commercial building. So if you have multiple trees that are the same species or almost the same height, you can pull this off. You unify them by the same lights. 
all these lights are the same. They're all dro draped, draped the same way. And the magnitude from afar is what's impacting. Notice when I was up close, they were not as attractive, but from afar, they're quite beautiful. That is the beauty of Christmas. When you're looking from afar in a dark, dark, dark night, you see the real beauty of the lights. But up close, there you see a tree up close. Not particularly, uh, <laughs> not particularly any more interesting than lobster shorts up close. <laughs> but from afar, quite spectacular. Now, on we go to the big tamale of the Christmas trees. How big is too big when you get to a Christmas tree? Well, today we learn how big a tree can be, and and you take that <laughs> that belief of how big a tree can be, and then you make it even bigger. If there was inflation Christmas, this <laughs> if there was Christmas tree inflation, <laughs> you're about to see Christmas tree inflation. This Christmas tree uh, has continues to grow. It seems every every day I go back to watch it. <laughs> every day I go back to check on this tree, it's going up like wage inflation. <laughs> J Powell's probably watching this video and saying, my goodness, that tree is going up too much year to date. Uh, month to month, that tree is going up every month to month. So I need to do something with interest rates to get that tree lower. <laughs> now, the, that is not these trees. These trees are, these trees are uh, pre-inflationary trees. <laughs> these are trees that are sensibly uh, in, in number. Um, stock traders, bond traders, economists will all agree that these are trees not hit by inflation. These are trees not hit by supply chain disruption. These are sensible trees. They're not like your $5 soda at the supermarket. Um, what am I pointing at? Oh, I am pointing at uh, how, yeah, I'm, I'm covering my mouth because I'm doing tree disparagement at that point. <laughs> I am doing tree disparagement at that point because I'm saying, hey, up front, up close, the tree is not that attractive. At least in this time of season, it really is not. <laughs> but then it's off to some more fun. And what are we off to see some more fun at? We're off to see the inflationary tree. <laughs> I guess we gave it a name today. The inflationary tree. Uh, trees are going up year to date. They're going up month to month. There, there is no stopping tree inflation and Christmas tree inflation uh, is just, uh, oh, I am, I, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, impressed by the heat lamps. The heat lamps are quite impressive. Uh, <laughs> now, um, let's jump into that incredible big Christmas tree and let's look at it right now. Okay. And so at this point, we are approaching the massive tree. So at this point, we're going to approach the massive tree and get ready. If you thought there's a large Christmas tree in your neighborhood, uh, <laughs> you haven't seen anything to see in this tree. j Powell, if you're watching this video, I know what you're thinking. Uh, you need to do something about it. It's just, uh, it's just, it's going up year to date. <laughs> It's going up. j Bao is not going to be happy with Christmas tree inflation in just a second. Uh, there's, oh, there is those ornaments. Now, let's look at them up close. Wow, I forgot I had this part of the video. Look at those disco ball ornaments. These are very cheap. They're very, you know, you can get these for a dollar an ornament. I mean, these are very, very simple. But look how beautiful they are up close and afar. Look how beautiful that is. Now, there's a lot of them. You see the size of my finger compared to how many ornaments. So they put a lot of ornaments. I like the idea. They put a lot of white. The white is reflecting in the ribbon, which I did not realize so right now. The ribbon has a uh, has a sheen, has, has a shimmer to it. So it's treated with a shine, and that creates a reflective element across the board. Here's some more of those, those trees. <laughs> <laughs> so now let's now let's cut and let's see the big tamale of all of them. Heading towards the big tamale. There it is. Oh my goodness. J Pal, you're having a meeting at the FOMC right now. <laughs> Loretta Mess out of Cleveland is saying, oh my God, we cannot tolerate this. <laughs> James Bular is saying St. Louis saying, that tree inflation is just out of control. We have to do something at the Federal Reserve. J Pal, where are you? Are you watching J Pal? You're watching this video? Yeah, I am, Ellen. I, I am watching this video. This is we we are having a special meeting about the Federal Reserve at this tomorrow. 
tomorrow. The <laughs> Christmas tree inflation is just simply out of control. Look at that tree. I mean, I cannot get, that's not the small one. No, no, no. It's the big one in the background. I cannot get the Christmas tree in frame. <laughs> I cannot get the Christmas tree in the entire frame of the picture. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's big. It's really big. The tree in front of me is about 12 feet. And so how big is the big tree? Showing you those beautiful disco balls again. How big is the big tree? I think the big tree is almost four stories. I have no idea what it takes to bring a tree like that in there. How big is the tree? You see the box it's sitting in? I'm as big as the, I'm as tall as the box. So <laughs> it is a very, very big tree. It is just insane. Now, the ornaments are quite enormous. Someone got it right by understanding if you're going to do a big tree, you got to do big ornaments. So the, the ornaments in respect to the tree are oversized. The ornaments are gargantuan. I don't know where anyone gets gargantuan ornaments like that. Maybe they're custom made. Uh, in prior years, I've always seen the same ornaments on the same tree. So obviously they, they may have made these originally. Now here's something that's important for you to know. The gold ball ornaments... And I like this. I got these at Costco many years ago. They sell big gold a basket of ornaments very, very cheap. The, the honeycomb ornament right behind me in the corner also looks like the disco ball from Mitch. That you can get anywhere else as well. These are very mass-produced ornaments. The only difference is these are really, really big. Uh, just a lot of fun across the board. Let's look and see more about... Oh, I love that ornament. Is that quite... That one is actually one of the most fascinating of the ornaments. I have never seen an ornament like that. It is huge. It has to be at least a foot big, maybe a foot and a half. I'm talking about the the the, the, the comb one, not the honeycomb. The, this, the one on the right side of the frame. The color is beautiful. It is, it is almost like an, a, a gorgeous orange. Really quite spectacular. The one on the left is very typical. The one in the middle is very typical. They're just big by comparison. That one's also very typical. And there you see me in the in the ornament. <laughs> Where else do you see your host in the Christmas tree ornament? Uh, <laughs> only on LA. What a day it is. And that was a lot of fun. Thank you for joining me. If you want to see more of me on location at the Christmas tree park, make sure you have your alerts set to all on on this channel. Go on in this video. There's a bell under the video. Make sure it's set to all on so that you can alert when it says live. And it's generally about 8 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. I'm often on location, either there or on set for our new show called LA Late Night. It's generally about 8 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. And uh, sometimes I'll post a short, like you saw before, telling you I'm going there as well. Get all those grand sums of money. And coming up tonight on Ames LA, we'll go more into the breaking news. It's a big day, and it's just getting started. More about your economy, more about your inflation. Benefit raises on Evenings LA plus the housing market and your unemployment enforced stimulus. See you tonight on Evenings LA.